Fry's Electronics was a North American big box store. They sold everything from computers to appliances to hobbyist electronics. But unfortunately, on February 24th of 2021, they closed down. According to Wikipedia and some other sources, it says the closure was a result of low sales due to online competition and COVID-19. Now this seems like a likely reason for a business to close in 2021, but with Fry's it is a little bit different so we need to look at a few months before they permanently closed. As you see in this picture, there were lots of empty shelves and barely any product to buy. Now Fry's was already struggling with things like customer service before COVID even happened, and I'm not going to go into detail because there's a great video in which I will put in the description, check it out, and it explains everything basically Fry's went through and obviously caused its demise. So let's continue on to my adventure through an abandoned, almost abandoned, Fry's. And before we continue, I apologize for the bad camera footage because it was taken on my phone and the footage is a little bit shaky. It's kind of bittersweet because this was such a great place. I mean, and Best Buys are okay. Like, you know, they're just kind of like our average electronics uh, retailer. It's kind of like a micro center. They had all sorts of neat just stuff everywhere. So it's kind of sad that they're closing. But the amount of stuff like this was 15 bucks. Uh, crazy. And it's also also kind of like an abandoned building, which is kind of neat and crazy. What we have here. And there's leaks. This place, let me tell you, the ceiling is like weird. It's like a mattress. This place, this place leaks like heck. I remember they'd have buckets everywhere. I can hear it leaking right now. They just don't care anymore, because <laughs> obviously the place is closed. Closing, I don't know. It's, everything's on sale. Like I said, it's kind of bittersweet, so... <sighs> wow. Pretty nice quality HDMI cables. HDMI switchers, now that's, those are kind of nice. Those are pretty expensive sometimes. I, I don't know what you use them for. I mean, obviously they have all the TVs and stuff lined up here. Plug, plug those in. Yeah, there's no one there's computers. Probably not really being sold right now. Crazy. Crazy. What do we got? I don't know if there's anything for sale over here. All the price tag alarms. There's really nothing in the back here. There's some appliances. Uh, I, I don't see very much at all. However, um, I want shopping cart- hey, what are they doing with the shopping carts? I mean, I'm not going to be using them. <laughs> Buy a fry shopping cart. Papers and stuff all over the place. Stuff. Got some nice clips speakers over there. Oh, this is one of the coolest places, the audio room. Uh, you have every, like, um, receiver and amplifier that you'd want, and all the speakers, and all the cool stuff. All that's left is a little sharp TV. And you could play like music and just blast it in here. It's all gone now. <laughs> so, that one's kind of open. Does this open up? I'm, I just never looked inside here. I'm just get, oh, got a lot of stuff in there. Interesting. All the audio equipment probably for working on this place. Now, there was a movie theater in here. Hey, there's an amplifier. It's where they'd have a TV. Just have a TV stand in there, probably nothing. Now, this is the place I'm curious about. The movie theater. Presentation room. It's temporarily closed, but it's not stopping me. Okay, there's so no thing here. Heck yeah. Can't really see it on the camera, because quiet in here. You can't really see anything on the camera because it's pretty dark. But 
definitely a neat place. Got the huge theater screen, it used to have a projector. Um, I want to say they did have a film projector, probably not, but they had the speakers up there. They had all the equipment in here. Oh, whoa. This was their network crap for the whole building. Remember, maybe not for the whole building, but quite a bit. What the heck is that? Connects Pro? This is probably HDMI. Like, this is where they controlled. You know what this is? This is their rack. You really can't see anything in camera. Sorry about that. This is their rack. Uh, let me see if I can turn on a flashlight or something. All right, there we go. Now you can see we got all the stuff in here. This is for probably broadcasting. Oh, look at that network stuff. Broadcasting, um, you know, their HDMI streams all over the building. All their, you know, you got your, your Blu-ray player here. They play something. They broadcast to all the TVs around the building on display HDMI. This is crazy. All their display stuff, you know, shelves and stuff are probably for sale. Oh, it's one of those Western Digital TVs. I was always looking into those. Kind of like an alternative to the Roku or something. HDMI switch. Some nice uh, power supplies there. Amplifier. Is that? Yeah, this is the power. Um, and then you got amplifier. A direct TV box thing. <laughs> That's really it. I mean, you got some audio cables going up there and crazy. And they're watching me right now. The camera up there. And this was another thing, you'd have the, uh, you'd stand underneath these big bowls and you'd like hear the audio perfectly, it was crazy. Uh, it's hard to kind of explain, you'd only know if you're <laughs> at one of these places. But basically this was in the air, and then you'd st stand underneath it, and you wouldn't hear anything unless you stood underneath it, so it's like a special speaker in there. Starting to rip out pieces of the building and shelves, get conduit all over the place. Warehouse. POE switch. This is crazy. Abandoned, pretty much. They got a bunch of computers for sale for like 15 bucks each. I saw some maybe older GTX, I don't know, 1050s, which is pretty good. 15 bucks for 1050 alone is good for a whole functioning computer. Yeah. Here. All this stuff for look at this, look at this one. Um, I mean that power supply. Everything. Crazy. At the time I thought they were selling the computers for 15 bucks each, which yeah, is pretty crazy for that. But um those were just the keyboards and monitors that are being sold for 15, 15 bucks, which is a little bit of a rip-off looking at how much or how bad their keyboards and monitors looked. Um so I'm sure the computers they weren't selling them at the time because they have to uh, remove the hard drives with the company data on it. And when they do sell them, I'm sure they're going to cost a lot more than $15. Now I did end up getting a PoE switch for 15 bucks as well. It seems like everything is $15 at the store. But uh, basically, that's, that's a pretty good price. PoE switches do cost a bit of money, and when I saw that, I was like, oh, I definitely have to get that because um, we have some... PoE devices in the house that would definitely benefit from switching over from a, quite a few random PoE injector, injectors here and there to just a simple PoE switch. So that was that was pretty good. That was a good find. Now I do not have a good explanation of why Fry's closed, but I do have a good video in the description explaining some factors that could have caused this demise. And there you have it. There's a recording of one of the probably now abandoned Fry's Electronics.